guys, it's Aji. So for this video, I'm going to do my makeup collection video. Mm. <laughs> Just a little disclaimer, um, this is not me in any way, shape, or form flexing on you guys. I would never do that. Like, <laughs> There has been lots of requests for me to do my makeup collection video. I've always been putting it off just because I did not really want to do this. Um, just in case anyone would get like the wrong impression of me flexing what I have. Like, I'm not flexing. <laughs> this is just me showing um, what I have. Hindi po ako bang Okay. Marami lang nang hihingi ng video na to. I think I've received more than like 15 comments. More than 15 comments asking for like a makeup collection video. So, ayun. I don't even know how to do a makeup collection video. Um, also, another disclaimer. Some of the stuff that I'm going to show you are not stuff that I purchased. Some of the stuff are PR. Some of the stuff are gifted to me by friends, family. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's move on to the video. This is my organizer. I moved it right here. Yung lagi nyang nakikita sa may likod ng sa may likod ko pag nagfi-film, I moved it to my table so I can properly show you guys the makeup collection that I have. So for foundation, um I have a lot of foundation. I have 3 of the um Full Color Cover Max foundations. You can see there are they are in different shades like this one is in 03 cream. Um, 06 Latte and 10 Warm. This is the darkest shade, but it's very, very yellow. So, again, I have three of these. I also have these. Um, this is the O2O Invisible Cover Foundation. I also have this one by Key Best. I think I have two from Key Best. This is their um, BB Cream, I think is what they call this. Way too light for me and not enough coverage, so I don't really use this anymore. But this one, I really like. My only issue with this is that it's a lot of I really like the finish. Niya. Like, it's a true matte foundation. I also have more Chinese brands. This one is by Focalure again. This is their Stay Max foundation. You guys have seen me use this a lot, um, shade 03. But just in case, I also got the same shade, um, not the same shade, I got 05. Um, this is a darker shade which has a more orange undertone to it. Um, I also have this one by Pink Flash. This is their Lasting Matte Foundation. This is a fairly small foundation. Um, it only has 25 grams. So I also have this one by AOA Studio. They have their own shop, like their online shop, shopmissa.com. I don't want to buy in the online shop just because the hassle of delivery time. May mga, basta may mga tax, ganun. And the hassle lang talaga niya. So, what I ended up doing is like looking for this in Shopee. And may nahana pong shop. I think the name is Vina. Um, I'll try to link them down below. Pero ayon. Next, I have this Focal Your Skin Evolution Foundation. You've seen me review this on my channel. Um, ni review ko na to before. Uh, I actually liked it. Pero kasi, I realized that the shade was too orange for me. Thankfully, it did not look orange in the video. Pero ayan, um, it was way too dark and way too orange for my skin tone. I only have 01 Alabaster as like a mixer. Uh, this one is by Eye Magic. This is their full coverage foundation. Uh, this is in Soft Honey. And no, it's really not true. I not use it. Again, I'm going to use this for a future video. Pero ayan, I have this one. And this is in shade Soft Honey. Now, on to the more expensive. Expensive! <laughs> Expensive brands. I have here three expensive foundations. Expensive, but like actually, they're drugstore. I have one by Maybelline. This is their 24 hour super stay foundation. I have mine in 128 Warm Nude. Um, I think this is my like second or third bottle of this. I don't know. Pero ito kasi yung foundation na ginagamit ko dati nung hindi pa ako nakadiscover ng full color. When I haven't discovered Chinese brands yet. Ito yung lagi ko ginagamit kasi. This is the perfect match of foundation for me. This is by Milani, the Conceal and Perfect. Um, I believe both of these like run up to 400 to 600 pesos on Shopee. So, ayan. Uh, I also have this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Medyo mahal din to. This thing costs you 300 to 500 pesos, I think. Pero I got this for 200 kasi nakasale yung shop na binilhan ko. So, that's all of the foundation that I have. This is the concealer. <laughs> the concealer area. 
I have eight, I think, eight na concealers. Focal Your Big Cover Concealer. I don't need to say anything about this product. I really like it, pero I found my favorite, so hindi ko na siya masyado nagagamit. I have a backup of it, though. Select Cover Up Concealer by O2O. This is in the shade 03 Vanilla. Um, yung problema ko lang dito is that it's not matte. It leaves your under eyes looking a little shiny. Although, if you're like a fan of natural, um, woke up like this look, you like this. I have the O2O Invisible Cover Concealers. I have three of them. I will never, ever probably run out of concealers. Um, ayan. I have HC01, 3, and 4. Ayan, magkakaibang kulay sila. The concealer is actually really thick. Like, thick with three Cs. Thick. My favorite out of them all is this Key Best. Kung napanood yun yung video ko, I, I really like the finish. Like, mabilis siya matuyo kasi nga super matte niya. And in terms of color, like sa shade, this was probably my favorite, like, shade match for my under eyes. Kasi nga, it's yellow, it's light, and it has decent coverage. So, ayun. My last is a pot concealer. Um, technically, this isn't a concealer. O2O markets this as a cooling eye primer. Pero ginagamit ko siyang concealer kasi when you look at the formulation, it's very similar. Like, yung, yung ingredient list nila is very similar to that of a pot concealer. So, ginagamit ko siyang concealer, sometimes eye primer. Below the concealers are the face powders. <laughs> I have eight face powders, loose setting powders. I have this one by Keybest. This was sent to me. I don't really use this. I'll probably use this when I run out of my favorites. But yeah, I I'm not going to buy loose setting powder anytime soon. Kasi sobrang dami nito. Ayan. Um, I have two by me now. Their HD powder, HD setting powder, and mint fine loose mineral powder. This one has a greenish hue to it. Maganda siya pang bake. Yun yung sasabihin ko. Maganda siya pang bake. Next, I have this one by AOA again. This is their AOA Perfect Blue Setting Powder in Soft Light. Mas natural yung shade niya. Like, hindi siya kasing tingkad ng puting ng translucent na loose powder. And super finely milled siya. So, ayun. Gustong-gusto ko to. Um, next, I have two loose powders by Focal Your. This is their Flawless Loose Setting Powder. Hindi ko alam bakit. Ilang best ko na tong ginamit. Hindi pa rin siya maubos-ubos. Parang puno pa nga rin siya eh. Like, ayun o, oh, kita nyo. Focal Your Loose Powder in number two. I use this under primer um, bago ako mag-foundation. Kapag gusto ko talagang mag-stay yung foundation on my face for the whole day, ito yung ginagawa ko. Like, I put on my setting, um, I put on my sunscreen, my skincare. I set all of that using this one. And then, I put on my foundation and go from there. So, ayun. Yung iba nasa palette. So, I guess I'll start with that first. Yung mga all-in-one. I have three contour palettes-ish. The first one is by Detail. Hindi ko to binili. This was a birthday gift from uh, one of my friends, Vanessa. May dalawang siyang contour, may dalawang blush, may isang highlight, may isang bronzer shade. Etong dalawang to, I don't know why they call this a contour kasi it's really red. May pagka-red yung undertone niya. So I guess this would make for a better bronzer. Um, and this one is a more cooler version, more gray version of this one. Still though, I wouldn't use this as a contour. Pero ayan. Ito lang kasi meron sa akin dati. Like, hindi ako marunong mag-contour dati. Tapos, I got this and then I learned. Pero, I stopped using it. And another one that you guys often see on my channel is this one by Sweet Pea. May dalawa siyang contour shades, dalawang blush, and dalawang highlighter. Uh, I really like this. You guys know how much I love this. Tsaka, ito yung ginagamit ko kapag tinatamad ako. Pag tamad akong kunin yung mga individual na parang pang contour, pang bronze, tsaka pang highlight. Ito yung ginagamit ko. Kaya ito yung lagi kong ginagamit sa mga looks. Kasi kadalasan tamad ako masyado para kumuha ng mga bagong items. Tsaka, I don't... Mas malinis siya. Mas madali siyang linisin. Ayun. This one I got from iMagic. This is their highlight and blush and contour palette. Um, ito lang yung pang bronze na binigay nila, but even then the shade is like too too red, I guess. It's more orange than it is brown, so I wouldn't use it as a bronzer. Is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, so tapos na tayo sa palettes. <laughs> Let's move on sa individual na pots. 
Rikami Six Pan Palette. These are two of the shades that I use a lot. Um, the other shades I use for more creative looks or for more bright looks. Pero ayon, these are my favorite shades out of them all. Um, para medyo mas organized, let's um, move sa blushes muna. I have five cream blushes. These three are from AOA. I, again, I got them from for like one dollar each. Ayan, I got mine in shade Charm, Merlot, and Shy, I think. Hindi ko sila masyado nagagamit. I, because in, in general, I'm just not a fan of cream blushes. Cream contour, I got in too. But like cream blushes, I never really got around to liking, loving. So, ayan. Um, I also got both of these. Um, these ones are from Key Best Cosmetics. This is in 03 Telling Low and 06 Songbird. I also have this um, liquid blusher, red wine blusher from Focal Your. I got this for like 85 something pesos. This is in B01 Tequila. It's a very reddish pink. Na uh, maganda naman siya kapag blend out in fairness. Pero yun nga, hindi ko siya, I just never got around to using liquid blushes. So I have two from Beauty Glazed, 0 to Coral and 09 per Neon Purple. Um, ginamit ko to for looks. Like, ginagamit ko siya for creative looks, but I don't find na ginagamit ko siya everyday. I kind of regret buying this kasi it takes up too much space in my organizer and I, 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 hindi ko na, hindi ko na gusto yung color. I have two from Pink Flash. Hindi ko pa sila nagagamit. I don't know what shade this is. Walang nakasulat sa likod. But yeah, I have two. This is a very light nude pink and this is a more dark pink. This one from AOA Cosmetics again. This is their perfect loose, uh, perfect pressed blush, and I got mine in shade 270 Looker. Yan na lahat ng mga blushes ko. Sobrang dami, my gosh. Let's move on to the complexion, I guess. Contour bronzer. This one is from Hula by Benefit. I got this as a gift, I think. Sayan, I already hit pan. Parang nagpanic buy ako. Naghanap ako sa Shopee ng magandang bronzer. Tapos wala talaga ako mahanap. So yung ginawa ko, naghanap na lang ako ng <laughs> smart idea. Naghanap ako ng loose powder, loose pressed powder na maraming shades. And then I ended up realizing na uh, merong pressed powder ang AOA. Tapos ayun, it was just a matter of choosing what shade was right for me. And I realized um, zero, 160 chestnut was really good. So ayun, binili ko to. Oh, before I forget, pero ano kung cream, contour, or bronzer? I don't really re um, remember kung ano yung undertone neto kung mas cool ba siya or warm. Pero yun, I have zero to wheat color by Key Best. This is their cream contour. Uh, meron silang three shades nito. I recently got into cream contouring towards the end of 2020. I realized that it looked good on me. So, ayun, naghahanap ako ng marami pang contour, cream contour stick. So, baka bilhin ko yung sa hairline or yung sa focal color. I'm not really sure but I'm looking for more cream cream contour items. Uh, next, I have this one by Pink Flash also. I forgot what shade this is pero it's like a really dark brown. I mean, you can count. I don't know. It's a, it's more of a neutral brown. So, I think this would work as a contour rather than a bronzer. So, ayun. So, yun nga. For contour, aside from the palettes that I have, meron pa kong isa. This is the OG, the Sculpt and Glow by Focal Your. Um, sobrang mura neto. Like, 370. And you get a really good contour shade. Like, kita nyo naman. Like, every time I use this, talagang nagpapop lalo yung cheekbone ko kasi it adds that like good ashy shadow and yung highlighter na to is also a banger super so, sobrang ganda niya it's super blinding so yeah this is my favorite i'll never stop using this alam niyo kung ano yung marami sa akin <laughs> highlighter hindi ko rin alam like hindi ko alam talaga as in i have this one by AOA nasira na yung container niya pero this is what it looks like Maganda siya for natural looks. Tapos para siyang jelly. Like, it's very soft. They call it the Velour Mousse Highlighter. I think yung tawag nila dito. Next, I have this one by Pink Flash. I used this today. And as you can see, it's, it just gives you a very natural looking highlighter. Super fine yung glitters niya. So, it really works. And may pagka-yellow siya. May pagka-yellow yung highlight na binibigay niya. I have the um, Stagy News. It's very similar dun sa last one. Like, you can see na parang medyo similar sila in color. 
Ayan. This has a yellow, very yellow um, tone to it. Mas makinang siya kaysa dun sa isa, sa pink flash. Pero, I love them both. Uh, they're really good for like bronzy, warm looks. Next, for highlighter, I have this one by Hojo. You guys have seen me use this. I really like this um, highlighter. So, sobrang blinding niya. And it looks good. The last highlighter that I want to show you is the one by e.l.f. Medyo sira-sira na. Pero, yan. This is their baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearl. Ganyan siya. It's more pale pink. Um, yung focal your as comparison, yung focal your is like more white. Ito is more pink. And both of the pink flash and the stage news one is more yellow. So, that's it. That's for the cheek products. Oh my god. Tatapos din. <laughs> Before we leave the face, I want to show you guys my other complexion products. Um, I have two primers and three setting sprays. I have this one by O2O. I have their Skin Perfecting Primer. But honestly, it doesn't do anything. It's not worth the money. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this. And then I have this one by ELF. 500, 600 something ata siya. I don't know how cheap this is right now. Pero this is their powerless primer. I only use this kapag may event. So, I still have a lot of it. So, ayun. Ginagamit ko lang siya kapag feeling ko masyadong malaki yung pores ko that day. Or like, kapag gusto kong magstay yung makeup ko for an event. This is what I do. And then, I have the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. I bought this at the same shop that I bought the ELF primer. It does make your makeup last long and it's an affordable setting spray. I started um, powdering my whole face and napansin ko na parang hindi maganda yung effect nito kapag pinapowder ko yung buong mukha ko. So what I did was buy a new setting primer. This is by Fuera. This is their matte finishing spray but honestly this isn't matte. However, I'm not really mad about that kasi um, nasa set nyo na maayos yung powder. Like, I powdered my whole face today. Like, super pale ko kanina. But now, as you can see, the powder has melted into my skin. Given, like, it does not make your face look matte. Pero, I'm not really bothered by blotting my face every now and then. Meron ako netong Nature Republic um, Aloe Vera Soothing Gel Mist. Ginagabi ko na lang siyang parang part of my skincare ngayon. Or like, when my face feels like it needs a boost throughout the day. I just have this and it's halfway finished na. I still have an extra one right there. Marami sila actually. Like, in terms of, for, for looks, I prefer eyebrow pomades more than I do pencils. Um, I have two easy tube type. This is by Handayan. I highly, highly recommend this. When they say it's long lasting, like sis, sobrang oily person ko. And like, at the end of the day, nawawala na talaga to, yung part na to, yung buntot, kapag pencil yung ginamit ko. Um, so yun. This is good for that. Magandang eyebrow pa mito. I have two from Beauty Glazed. I really like their eyebrow gel. Maganda siya. Yung ash brown ginagamit ko sometimes for eyeliner. Um, it's not as long lasting, pero it does its job as an eyebrow pomade. I have one by e.l.f. This is in medium brown. Well loved. Well loved. And then I also have this AOA Wonder Brow Pomade. Isa na naman to sa mga well loved na gamit ko. It's what I'm using today actually. So this is my small collection of eyeshadow palettes. It's in a like um shelf. So let me take these off the shelf and I'll show you guys. So I actually did not realize how much palettes I have. Oh my god, this is a crazy amount of palettes. They don't look as bad when they're arranged in the shelf, but like looking at it right now, they, it looks crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> so again, um before moving on to the palettes, let me show you guys some of the miscellaneous like eye items that I have. This one is the You Can Be Starlight. This is meant to be a loose eyeshadow pigment, but I use this as my highlighter. A lot of you guys have been asking me kung anong highlighter yung ginagamit ko on certain vids. And most of the time, kapag nagtatanong kayo, this is what I end up using. Like, this is literally blinding. Blinding. Super nice. Recently, I got this. This is the Focal Your Loose Eyeshadow Pigment. Um, I have both. This one is in... 12 rose gold and this in 06 frost uh, although it's called frost it has a very warm champagne gold effect i guess yeah i use this as a highlighter sometimes and i'm planning to use this on a look 
Um, I also have two liquid eyeshadow from Novo. This is the Stars. <laughs> the Stars liquid eyeshadow. This is in 401 and this is in 301. I like using this because they look really metallic and like shiny when you apply them on the eyes. This is in 301. You can see, like, it reflects light really well. Time to move on to the palettes. So, um, where do I start? You know what? Let's just start with the smallest one. Um, Squad Cosmetics recently reviewed this. Um, I still have this Dodo Girl Matte Eyeshadow. I think this uh, 16 colors. I mainly use it for the browns. Yeah, I got this in Divisoria for 150 pesos. I have three palettes from Keyvest. <laughs> My new favorite palette. They, they're really, really good. Like, they're so nice and creative. Um, I don't know how to show you guys, but I'll be doing a review for all of these palettes very, very soon. This is another palette by Squad Cosmetics. This is their bigger 9 pan palettes in Circle Pans. Next, I have two eyeshadow palettes from Focal Yours. This is their Turkey and Prague palettes. I really like the color scheme, especially the Prague palette. It's just... It has very gorgeous browns um, and shimmers. This turkey one is also good, but I find that I don't reach for this as much because of the color scheme. It's good for certain looks, but for everyday though, like I wouldn't really buy this if you're looking for an everyday eyeshadow palette. Next is this BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival 20 color eyeshadow palette. This was a gift to me um, by my first year Archie friends. It, it, I was actually really shocked because during that point in August, we weren't, a lot of us weren't really that close yet. And they still gave me a, a, a gift because they knew I liked makeup. So, yeah. I'm really thankful for them. Kung nanonood kayo, laham ko kayo. So yeah, this is how it looks inside. It definitely has like really playful colors. I'm keeping this just because the memory that I have of this one is really good. Uh, another full color palette, this is the Sunrise. I wouldn't recommend this to a, to a beginner. Like a, certainly a lot of the colors in this palette could appear intimidating. Also, some of the shimmers don't perform as good as their other palettes. But if you're someone looking for like a creative look, this would be good for you because it has like good um, glitters. Another one is by O2O. <laughs> You've seen me use this in a few videos before. Uh, I don't know what this eye palette is called, but it has a lot of good colors in it. I think they have 28 colors. And um, some of them aren't really usable if you're into natural looks, but it has very earthy, very warm tones. It's definitely up my alley. <laughs> Next, Chalice Collection by iMagic. Um, this was sent to me um, to try out. I've played with this before, but not on cam. I'm going to use this on my eye magic look that you will see very, very soon. Next, this is an eyeshadow palette from Glam Color. It's called the It's All Good palette. You've seen me use this in my e-girl video, I think. Um, I'm keeping the palette because I think I can use the glitters for a look, for a creative look. And the shimmers are actually really good. The mattes are trash though. So there, um, we're starting to move on to the bigger palette. So I'm moving away some of the smaller palettes that I have. So next, um, oh shit, fuck, gago, ah. <laughs> Um, this is the Here I Am palette by iMagic. It's a 35 color palette um, that ranges from browns, nudes, um, it has pinks and purples and blues in it. Something that I really love about iMagic eyeshadows is that their formulation for shimmers is... It's so good. Like, their shimmers, I would buy an entire palette that's just shimmers if it's from iMagic because they do shimmers really well. Their their shimmers are really good and their mattes don't disappoint. If I were to choose among all of the Chinese brands for certain categories, I would choose Focalure for the complexion, I would choose O2O for lipsticks, and I would choose iMagic for eyeshadow because the way they formulate their eyeshadow is really good. Like, let me show you. Um, let me choose this color, Splash. As you can see, it's very, it appears really good on the hands, on the fingers. And it's a one swipe wonder. 
like it appears really pigmented as well as the mattes let me choose a random matte mm, let me take this shade teddy it's so soft that's how the mattes perform um, next, I have one pa uh, one palette from Beauty Glaze. This is their Color Studio Pressed Powder Eyeshadow. I didn't really like this palette. Like, I only bought this because I wanted to do a comparison to the James Charles palette, which I also have. In terms of color, it's really actually accurate to the James Charles. Um, however, for formulation, it's a bit hit or miss. It's actually very pigmented. If you're someone who's on a budget and you can't afford the James Charles palette, definitely try this one out first. This is my third Eye Magic eyeshadow palette. This one I bought by myself. This was not sent to me, but I love it. This is the Galaxy Shine Clandestine eyeshadow palette. Um, I also did a video on this that I did not end up uploading because I didn't like how the look turned out. This is one of my most favorite palettes. Like, the color scheme is really good. If you're someone who's into, like, bright colors, you should really buy this. Actually, I was more attracted to the natural row, like, this, this area right here. And, um, I got this before I got the Chalice palette and the Here I Am. I was second-guessing whether I wanted to buy stuff from iMagic because a lot of their like they're on the more expensive brand in comparison to other chinese brands but their eyeshadows are absolutely worth it let me give you a swatch this is shade champagne um it's a really metallic um brown this is in the shade diamond you can see very shimmery, very metallic, very reflective. Yeah, I like this palette. <laughs> to the more expensive palettes, um, I have two Makeup Revolution London. This is their Maxi Reloaded palette. I have two of them. Uh, this one is in Large It Up and this one is in Monster Mattes. It has a lot of um, bright colors. I feel like I could use these for playful looks like they have a lot of pastel colors in there um and then i have this one mas maganda siya for like those of you na gumagawa ng glam makeup kasi may mga shimmer siya tapos may mga mattes din i actually think na mas marami siyang shimmer kasi sa mattes i don't reach for this as much tsaka minsan na overwhelm ako kapag ginagamit ko to for everyday kasi nga ang daming colors <laughs> last in my eyeshadow palette collection is this Morphe X James Charles palette. Hindi nyo kita, pero I, I use this a lot. Especially yung mga, um, ataw dun yung mga shimmers, tsaka yung mga browns. Yung mga colorful na pants, though, I, I haven't had the time to play with yet. I just feel like, mas, mas approachable yung mga videos ko kapag mga affordable yung products na ginagamit ko. So, ayun. So, ayan na siya. Um, kung hindi nyo pansin, medyo wala na yung araw. <laughs> Iniwan na ako ng araw kasi sobrang tagal ng filming na to. Filming this took like an hour and a half. May mga sections akong tatanggalin. I don't want the video to drag out too long kasi I don't want it to be in uh, uninteresting, I guess. Again, I hope you guys don't take this in a way na parang nagpa-flex ako sa inyo. That's not something that I would want to do but I did want to show you guys because you guys have asked me multiple times about my makeup collection so yeah um I hope you like this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you like me make sure to follow me on all of my social media and if you want to see more content like this then make sure you're subscribed to my channel I'll see you guys in my next video bye